Hi there guys, Optimizer here and today I want to talk about the Kytus Buckler and Parrying Dagger in more detail. And someone on the Reddit forums actually did a frame data analysis of all three parrying tools. And the link to that thread is provided in the description below. So that user did his frame data analysis on the PC version of the game, so 60 frames per second. And what the user found was that the Kytus and Buckler has the same startup speed whereas the Powering Dagger has a 50% longer startup speed and the startup speed is just basically the amount of time before the active frames come into effect. In terms of the active frames, the Buckler has 20% more active frames compared to the Kytus and Powering Dagger which has the same amount of active frames. With regards to the recovery speed, the Buckler takes twice as long to recover compared to the Kytus and the Powering Dagger is somewhere between the two. And from all of this, you probably think the Kytus is the best powering tool because it has a quick startup speed. It has a good amount of active frames and its recovery speed is pretty good. But as you're seeing in these clips here, if you get a partial parry with the Kytus, you're still going to take quite a lot of damage compared to getting a partial parry with the Buckler or Parrying Dagger. And one of the major things is that all your stamina is going to be drained if you get a partial parry. So that's one way to punish Kytus users, is if they get a partial parry, don't be afraid to land in another R1. So in this clip here, this is what a partial parry looks like with a buckler equipped bait. And what this clip demonstrates is that after every successful partial parry, if you like, you're not taking as much damage. And the main thing is that you still got stamina left. So basically the buckler is just a lot less punishing if you mistime your parries and if you get a partial parry. The downside to the buckler is that it's high recovery speed which is double that of the kytus. And because it's double the recovery speed of the kytus that's enough time for you to get in two R1s and you know it's enough time for you to get a backstab. So overall, on balance, I'd probably prefer the Buckler now that I know it has the same startup speed as the Kytus. And, you know, 20% more active frames is nothing to be sniffed at, considering you have to allow for lag as well. And if you're not spamming the parry button, then the recovery speed of the Buckler shouldn't be an issue, because you really only should attempt a parry when you correctly read your opponent. So, okay, what about the parrying dagger? Well, for me, despite its name, I don't think it's all that great as a parrying tool. And one of the biggest downsides of the parrying dagger is that its startup speed is 50% longer than the Kytus or Buckler. And what that means in the real world is that at least with the parrying dagger, you just gotta press that L2 button quicker than the Kytus or Buckler. And this doesn't really sit well with me because the way I tie my parries is that I like to watch my opponent and if I see their startup animation, I like to hit the L2 button on reaction. And obviously you can't really do this as well with the parrying dagger. And that's it guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this video has helped you decide which parrying tool best suits your own playstyle. For me, I think the Kytus or Buckler are solid options and recently at least I've seen that the Kytus is really popular as a powering tool and with good reason. So until the next time, see ya!